Cooler than average temperatures in the forecast this weekend. They're not unusual or extreme. It's all going to be about the wind chill. So what is the wind chill? The wind chill is how cold it actually feels to exposed skin when you factor in the wind. You hear us refer to it very often as the feels like temperature. So what you normally have is your heat is radiating body or sorry, heat is radiating off of your body to keep you warm. There's actually a little invisible bubble of warmth surrounding your body, but it gets disrupted when the wind kicks up. The stronger the wind, the more that heat is getting radiated away and the cooler you feel. So that's going to be the case as we head into this weekend. One way that you can negate the wind chill factor entirely is if you're all bundled up, but every spot, maybe your neck, if you don't have a scarf on your face, any area that's exposed to the wind, that wind can whisk that heat away, leaving you feel colder. All right, thank you, sir. He's helped a lot. He's getting ready for the news at 11 now. All right, let's talk about the wind chills heading through the day tomorrow, starting off in the single digits and teens, staying in the teens right through the day. That's what it will feel like and then dipping back into the single digits and teens for tomorrow night. Taking a look at the wind, it's not very impressive right now, but we do think it will steadily increase as we head through the evening tonight. It will increase through the day tomorrow, and it will probably be the strongest heading into Sunday morning. We could see gusts up around 35, 40 miles per hour. The cold is far from our minds today. Today's highs were in the 40s, upper 40s for Croton. Very warm out there for this time of year. So we're going to start getting back in the other direction with below average temperatures. Lows tonight dropping back into the low to mid 20s for most. There could be a few spots in northern Connecticut that drop into the upper teens as we head towards daybreak. And tomorrow we're talking about highs in the 20s. The average high for this time of year is in the mid 30s. So again, we're shooting below that number, but it's not just this. It's also the breeze winds out of the northwest at 10 to 20 and there could be gusts up to 30 or 35. So that'll make it feel like the single digits in teens in the morning like the single digits heading into Saturday night or trying to have some dinner. Maybe you're out walking the dog for one last time and this is what you'll want to dress for. But the coldest time will probably be heading out the door early on Sunday when wind chills will be near zero and I wouldn't be surprised in the hill towns if we had some wind chills that were below zero. High temperatures on Sunday will be up around 30 degrees but it will be windy and possibly even more blustery than what we're expecting for tomorrow. Then we're dry during the day on Monday. No concerns there, but we're on the weather watch as we head into Tuesday. We've been talking about this storm the last couple of days and trying to figure out are we going to get more of an indirect impact or a direct impact. Right now it looks like accumulating snow is more of a lock in areas for Pennsylvania down through northern New Jersey. For us here in Connecticut, I think we're going to get some fringe effects out of this in the form of some light snow or some snow showers. Now there is a chance that we get some accumulating snow here in Connecticut. If we were to though, I think it would be fairly minor. Of course, we have a few days to keep an eye on this, so you can bet Sam Samperi and Rachel Piscatelli will keep you posted on this throughout the weekend. But I just wanted to give you kind of my latest thoughts and feelings on this. Here's your seven day forecast. Another thing I wanted to mention about during the day tomorrow, we might start the day off rather cloudy in some locations, but I do think we'll break for more and more sunshine as the day wears on. Temperatures around 30 degrees on Sunday. Monday's looking good with highs in the mid to upper 30s. A chance for that snow or snow showers on Tuesday, depending on how the system wants to track, maybe some minor accumulation there. Close to 40 on Wednesday. And again, we're seeing temperatures that will stay generally near or even at times a little below average as we head through much of next week, which is different than what we've seen for, well, most of this month, guys.